Okay, I'm here. Let me find you, hang tight one second. Um, oh, you're not on your video. Any chance that okay, we can see you? Okay, wait a minute. Yeah, let me turn it on. Okay, here I am. <laughs> okay, now I can spotlight you. Here we go. Maybe, maybe not. There you are. Hello. Hi. <laughs> so which, which scan and cut do you have? Well, I have the SDX. Let's see. I think it's SDX. It's uh, right here. Yeah. The SDX um, 230. Okay. okay. And, and what, I, was what, having, I was having issues, but maybe it was my back. It's probably user error because I haven't used it that much, but I was trying to cut out the butterfly. And uh -huh. um, I, the back, because I put um, steam -a seam on the back. I'm going to say that is more than likely causing the majority of your problem. Yeah, I was afraid of that. <laughs> yeah, my preferred fusible is heat and bond light. Okay. And... If if you um if you go to Silhouette store, they actually sell their own. And I know Silhouette is not brother scan and cut, but S Silhouette right. has um has a fusible product that they sell, and it is actually heat and bond. Oh, they okay. Have two different levels. So the reason that I'm not too keen on the steamer seam is because it has the two two pieces of um. It has the two pieces of paper attached to it, right? Right. Yeah. And both sides are sticky um, yeah. on, on the actual steam seam, right? When I've used it, it's never been altogether clear which piece of paper you take off first. And I've come to the conclusion it just doesn't like Phoenix weather. Oh. Yeah. Um, because I've never I've never really been terribly successful i know that other people in different parts of the country love it but i would say for using it with the cutting machines it is not going to be your best option okay. because of the paper and the way it um in interacts with the with the actual product because you want to have a really uh, a really solid situation going on when you've got your fabric you've got your fusible and then the backing paper you want them to be one unit whilst you're cutting if there's any kind of bubbling then you'll not get a good cut at all yeah yeah i'm i not getting a good cut it seems like it's not cutting through you know it messes up the paper on top well i've done it both ways i put the paper on the bottom and I put the paper on the top so either yeah, it does I'm going to recommend try it with some heat and bond light yeah make sure that you've got a really good fuse so um one of the things that I noticed when I was traveling and teaching is that um people would not be getting good cuts even with the heat and bond and they're using the ironing boards in the classroom and if you look at most ironing boards they're some kind of a grid structure with a pad on the top right 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 and mine and is you're not getting an even heat across so okay i have the june taylor cushion quilter square and blocker which i use for placement but i also use that for applying the fusible webbing to the applique fabric because you've got a solid surface and you're going to get an even heat across okay right? that yeah, that could be it too, because I do it on the ironing board. So, yeah, well, try it with your steamer seam then on a solid board. And, and then I think you're, I, I think you can guarantee you'll get better results with the heat and bond light. Okay. Okay. And I always put fabric up, back, and paper down on the back. Because if anything is going to get stuck to the mat, I would much rather it be backing paper rather than fabric. Right. Because if the fabric gets stuck, then you risk warping it when you're trying to get it off. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know it can be really frustrating trying to get the backing paper off if it gets stuck onto the mat. But (laughs) you know, it's easier than warping your fabric. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. You are welcome.